In this math test, we're looking at systems of linear equations two by two. What does that mean? It means that we have two linear equations in two variables. And we're looking to solve them simultaneously. That is, the answer that we get works in both equations at the same time. And in particular, we're going to be looking at the solution method called the addition method sometimes called the elimination method and we will see why it has two names so here is our system of two equations in two variables x and y they are in fact linear equations because there's no exponents there's no variables in the denominator there's no square roots of variables there's no multiplication of variables now, we're going to look at the addition method for solving this system. This system is actually better suited for the substitution method because it is easy to solve this first equation for x. But we can do it using the addition method, and let's see how it's done. Now, the first step in using the addition method is to line up your system. You need to have your first variable Let's say x in one column, then your second variable, y in the second column. You need equal sign and the constants. The addition method works well when you've got everything lined up. The second thing to look for is to see whether you have a plus and minus here. So we, you see we have a plus 2y here and a minus y here. So we on the same variable, we have a plus sign in the first equation and a minus sign in the second equation. That helps you don't have to multiply by negative numbers and worry about changing signs. What is the idea of the addition method? To find two constants. We're going to multiply the first equation by the first constant, the second equation by the second constant, so that when we add the two equations, we have eliminated one of the variables. And so, if we multiply the first equation by one, that is do nothing and the second equation here by 2 then we see that we will have 2y here minus 2y when we add those two together y is eliminated let's do that so first one we're multiplying by 1 doesn't always work out so nicely and the second one we're multiplying by 2 each term 2 times 2x is 4x. 2 times minus y is minus 2y. And 2 times 0, where we all make the mistake, is 0. Now, this step right here is crucial. Look up at your system and pick the easiest equation, the most simple equation. In this case, it's x plus 2y equals 5 write it down. It's going to be the one we're carrying along with us so that we have a system. Now we're going over here to add our blue and our red and get purple. So x plus 4x equals 5x. 2y minus 2y, because we're adding them together, is 0. Remember we're adding them. That's why I like the word addition. And equals 5 plus 0 is and what did we get with that? We got an equation here that only has one variable. That's always our goal, to get at least one equation that only has one variable in it. So, now we solve that equation. So we write down our equation that we're dragging along here. And we have 5x equals 5. And we can see that we can solve that for x. So write down our equation that we're dragging along here. And we divide both sides by 5, we get x equals 1. We have the value of one of the variables. We take that value right here, x equal to 1, and we substitute it into the other equation. So what do we get? We get a purple one and then plus 2y equals 5. Now this equation only has one variable. 
This one's done. Now we're dragging along the bottom one. We're always dragging one along and working on the other one. So now what do we have? We subtract one from both sides of this top equation. The one will go away. 2y equals 4. And we're dragging along x equals 1. Now we divide both sides by 2. So we have y equals 2 and x equals 1. That is our solution. Let's write it down. Solution is, this is a crucial point. If you're going to write it as an ordered pair, which letter comes first? X, then Y. So if you're required to write it as an ordered pair, make sure you order it properly. Okay, let's check it. Now, another thing is, don't check it in the equation that you dragged along because you used that equation. Check it in the other equation. So we're going to check it in the 2x minus y equal 0 equation, this one here. And we substitute x equal to 1 and y equal to 2. And we want to know whether this is 0. We're checking it. So this is a Boolean equation. That means it's either true or not true. And we hope it's true, because otherwise we made a mistake. And we have 2 minus 2 is 0 on this side, and 0 on this side. So in fact, we do have a true statement. So it is true. So we have two lines here. They should intersect at 1, 2. Let's check. Here is the graph of x plus 2y equals 5. Here is the graph of 2x minus y equals 0 and they intersect at the point 1, 2.